You know, we need a leader who understands tough times to get us through these tough times. And I certainly lived that growing up right in this house, right here on Dove in Mount Pleasant. And right now, many people across our city are struggling. They are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And even before COVID, we had the pandemic of economic injustice across our city. I remember uh, my mom struggling to make ends meet. You know, when she graduated from John Adams High School right up the street, uh, she could barely read or write. But my mom did what she had to do to make sure that I had a shot at life. It took her over 20 years to get her associates, her masters, and now she's a social worker. My grandma worked so hard to uh, make sure we had a safe place to play. Folks used to call her the chief of homeless security on our block. My block was so bad growing up. My grandma, Sarah, had a sign on her door that said, I don't call 911. And what she was really doing was she was telling folks that, look, my grandbabies need to be safe, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that my grandkids have a safe place to live and grow up. So I understand the frustrations that our residents have when it comes to community policing to ensure that we have safe neighborhoods. And as a young college student, I was fortunate enough to work for President Obama when he was in the U.S. Senate. I started a nonprofit to help inner city kids in D.C graduate high school by giving them the tools they needed to be agents of change in their own neighborhood. I currently serve as chief strategy officer for a national nonprofit focused on helping mid-sized cities use data and technology to make our cities safer, healthier, and more resilient. I've also served as vice president of our community bank, Key Bank, advising a $1.7 billion business on how to grow market share to maximize shareholder value, not for only for our investors, but also for our residents right here in Cleveland, Ohio. Prior to that, I worked with big city mayors across the country to give them the tools and data they needed to make smarter, more effective cities. So it's that professional experience and the lived experience of being a kid from Mount Pleasant as a son of a cop and a firefighter, as well as a son of a mom who has dedicated her life to social work that inspires me to be the servant leader Cleveland needs now more than ever to push our city to be an effective city for the next generation. I'm Justin Bibb and I'm running for mayor because for far too long, Cleveland has been a laggard and not a leader. We've embraced the status quo instead of innovation. And we have all the right assets to truly be a world-class city. And for us to truly do that, we need a sense of urgency now more than ever. And we need bold, dynamic leadership to reject the status quo. And I believe on day one, I bring that lived and professional experience to be the chief executive officer of the city of Cleveland, Ohio. And that's why I'm running for mayor.